Hello guys, my name is Asmarin, and this is a 49ers video. Now, this is a weird video, as you can tell, me doing this. But um, I've been ill for the last uh, week. And um, now I haven't got COVID, it's a virus of some sort. I've been tested negative for COVID, but I can't get to my computer. So I've been doing, I'm going to do it off my phone. Um, I'm, I can't do day 14 of the training camp, but I'll do day 15 and day 18. Uh, 16 which is today um day 14 for some reason grant cohen which i follow didn't do the um day 14 and um, he was there um i found out on that day that trent williams um uh had a leg injury and he's out for the whole week um i also found that the quarterback competition between trey lance and jimmy g wasn't too bad either on day 14 wasn't wasn't high standards as it should be, but it was good enough for both. Um, and Josh Rosson was wavered from the 49ers, which is, well, he had it coming sort of thing, but I don't know why we kept him on for that long, but I thought they might have lasted him till the second week, third week at least, but it is what it is, he's gone, so good luck to him. I hope he does better somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, let's get down to it uh, for day 15, which was yesterday's. Uh, training camp. There we go. Um, this is the I'm doing it off me um, off me laptop, me tablet. Sorry. So the good and the not so good from uh, day 15 and 49 training camp. So it says analyzing the best and worst uh, performances from day 15 for the 49 training camp by Grant Cohen, August 17th. So Santa Clara. Here's who stood out on. The uh, who, here's who stood out on day 15 of the 49ers training camp the good number one safety Jamie Ward broke up a deep pass uh, intended for George Kittle while covering him man to man which means Ward turns his head found the ball and uh, knocked it down no safety in the NFL covers tight ends better than Ward technically he's a strong safety when he covers the tight end and he'll have more opportunities to play strong safety while uh, uh, Jack Leach's tar is out. Okay. Number two, safety. Uh, uh, Hufunga. Uh, he broke up a deep pass intended for Julian uh, Jennings while covering the deep middle of the field. Uh, Hufunga read the throw early and covered lots of ground. He's a better free safety than I thought would be. That's pretty good. Uh, number three, defensive end. Uh, uh, Armstead shut down all the runs that came his direction, plus he beat. Mike McGlinchey for a sack. Basically, he owns Mike McGlinchey all day. Okay, number four. Linebacker Fred Warner intercepted Jimmy Garoppolo for the third time in 15 camp practices. Warner is the best player on the team. He might win Defensive Player of the Year this season. Bloody hell. Number five. Uh, linebacker uh, Michael Hendricks uh, made a diving stop in the, f uh, in the flat to limit Wayne Gilman to no game. Uh, Hendrix has a chance to make the roster even though he got signed just a few days ago. Number six, running back Wayne Gilman sprinted through the second string defensive for a 25 yard run after taking a handoff from Trey Lance. Gilman is a natural runner from shotgun formations because he played with uh, Deshaun Watson at uh, uh, Clayman, which means Gilman is a good fit with Lance. Number seven, wide receiver. Junior Jennings caught a 15-yard pass over the middle from Lance, while Richie James Jr. dropped another pass and Julian Hurd missed another practice. Seems like Jennings will make the team both uh, over both of them. Number eight, defensive tackle Alfredo Gutierrez took one rep during one-on-one -on -one pass, pass rush drills and one. He faced Jordan Willis and quality defense end and stonewalled him. Great block. All right, so that's them. So here we go for the not so good. So here we go. Uh, the not so good number one offensive tackle Trent Williams missed practice uh, after swelling in his knee uh, one day after leaving practice with a knee injury. Not good considering Williams went on IR with a knee injury in 2017 and has missed out at least one game every season since 2014. The 49ers have recently made Williams the highest paid offensive lineman ever when they gave him a six year $138 million contract this offseason. He turned 33 in July. Now the 49ers need a very level, a high level backup tackle in case Williams misses time. This is why you do not pay a man under and 38 million I said this in my previous video when they signed him he's too much man now he's got a knee injury and according to reports he's out for the week 
So there you go. Number two, offensive tackle, Julian Moore. Uh, not a high level uh, backup tackle. M- uh, Moore is a rookie fifth round pick, the 49ers drafted to play guard. Today he replaced Williams as the first string left tackle and got thrown on his back by reserve defence end, Adrian Key. They committed a false start a bit later. The 49ers need to find a better swing tackle. They'll have a tough time winning any games with Moore in the starting lineup. Number three. Guard Daniel Brunsky uh, got beaten for a sack during one on ones by a defensive tackle, Darion Dan- Daniels, who probably won't make the team. Uh, Brunsky is the starting right guard and the weak link on uh, the weak link on the offensive line. He's getting manhandled daily. The Forty Niners need a high level backup guard in case Brunsky gets benched. Number four, guard. Colton McCavitz, uh, not a high level backup guard. Today, uh, Colton got beaten for sack during one on ones by reserve defence tackle Hurst. Uh, Colton was a fifth round pick last season and he's not improved. The 49ers have done a terrible job of drafting and developing an offensive lineman. That's not good. Uh, number five, cornerback Emmanuel Mosley, uh, mispracticed with a hamstring injury. Not good. Mosley's is so much better than the best backup cornerback on the roster. Number six, Deontay Johnson, the best backup cornerback on the roster, which means the 49ers have no depth at cornerback because Johnson is can't cover anymore. Uh, can't cover anyone. The 49ers need to add another cornerback. They struggle to win with Johnson in the starting lineup, and that's it. So what do I think about that? Um, I mean, it's not looking good for our cornerbacks, is it? Um, hopefully they'll know what they're doing. Um, you know, we're going up against the Raiders and they're uh, a competitive team as well. So we need to win against them. Um, I hope they know what they're doing. Same about Trent Williams, but yet again, as I said in my previous video, he's too much for what he's worth. And from what I've heard, he's out for the week. So, but yeah, here we go. Um, leave a comment, tell me what you think, um, about this practice. About this, uh, yeah, this training on day 15. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you very much for the 41 subscribers. Really fortunate, humble, appreciate it. And if you're new subscribers, I'm doing a lot more f- um, 49ers news and streaming and God knows else what. And um, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.